What it do guys, Monjama here, and today we'll be unboxing the Eye of Judgment Biolith Rebellion starter set for the PS3. As you can see, it is older. It even has the older branding for PlayStation 3 back with the uh, Spider-Man logoing. It comes with the PlayStation Eye USB camera, the software itself, which states that it is in fact included, that is true, the starter deck called the Biolith Rebellion, and it looks like one pack of cards, because this is a uh, kind of a virtual card game where you physically play the cards, and the camera sees the cards, and you see them on the screen, kind of uh, a little bit like Yu-Gi-Oh! I uh, kind of liken that to Yu-Gi-Oh! The eye brings the battle to life, an evolution of gaming, watch cards come to life, Strategic battles at home or online, asterisk, because I think the online's down. So now you actually can't do that part, but that they don't, they don't know that yet. This is when it was new. The eye brings the battle to life. Enter a dawn of a new era in both video games and trading card strategy for a completely new gaming experience. With the new PlayStation Eye and unique summoning cards, watch your card battles come to 3D life as you master the tactics of controlling the nine fields. And that's that's great. And you kind of see what the cards look like. Summoning cards. Customizing your decks. Expansion pack. It's a basic uh, trading card thing. Hey, buy the starter deck to get you started. But that's not going to be enough. Buy packs, buy other starter decks, mix and match, make a good deck. That's basically all, all it's uh, saying. And as far as the PlayStation I, I think this is one of the first times it was released before PlayStation Move, where you know it was kind of bundled with it because you needed it. This is kind of separate. Video chat, stay connected with family and friends. Not friends and family, family and friends. Chat up to six people at one time. That's kind of cool. Built-in microphone, yep. Fast frame rate, I mean, sure. Works well in low light conditions. It works all right. I mean, from PlayStation Move stop me. It uh, works all right. Bundle pack includes the Eye of Judgment software, being the game, the PlayStation Eye camera, what we just saw, Nine Fields battle mat, camera stand, oh, that's kind of cool, starter deck, which has 30 summoning cards and four function cards. For The function cards serve to like do stuff like I'm going to end my turn here. And it reads it, and it's like, okay, you're, you've are you ended your turn. You need those cards. And one booster pack of eight random cards from that <clears throat> from that set. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Software itself, it's... It is most likely as you'd expect. Let's see what it says here. Number of players, one to two, and then one to two online. You need... Okay, okay. 720p. We shouldn't be surprised by that, but I don't, I don't know. I'm always surprised by that. Includes, and it tells you everything that's here. So let's go ahead. Pick up this stuff. Okay, it's like glued together. We'll take a look at this in one second. This is actually the most important part. Because I already have a camera. The camera. This is... Probably relatively unchanged to what I got with my PlayStation Move, so we'll just set that aside because you guys know what a PlayStation camera looks like at this point. If you don't, then I, I can't help you. So this is the Nine Fields, which I didn't think would be cloth. I thought it would be like a giant poster thing. How do I, how do I open this? Oh, here it is. That will probably never fit back in there, but that's fine. Oh, wow, that's... You know, I kind of like it. All it is is a giant cloth. I thought it was a giant poster. Oh, okay, and it tells you where the camera is going to go. Wherever you want to place it. But then there's... I think I guess it goes like this? Maybe? I don't know. Because it gives you where camera goes, and then it gives you the deck and this pile. Your hand would obviously be in your hand, but then you have the checkerboard tic-tac-toe of the nine spaces that you play your cards in, which I've played the PSP version, so 
Not uh, extensively, but I played it a little bit, so I have an idea of how to play the card game. But, obviously the PSP game holds your hand more, because it's part of the game, so... Learning the ins and outs will be a process. Okay, so the stand comes in this box. Some assembly required. Okay. Yeah, most definitely some assembly required. Okay, that's another piece. That's just take it all out. This is definitely uh, the piece because it fits right onto here. So that's where that goes. This. Now I figured it out. I just looked at some pictures. And of course, yes, you kind of just assemble it as normal. You put the top piece, keeping in mind that uh, the this little hole where the USB cable always goes in the back because, you know, you can't mess with that clutter. You don't want anything to get um, disorganized. Anyway, the this U-shaped piece goes on the front kind of at an angle. Then you slide the camera in and it locks into place with a couple clips. And it points downward because you're going to be... Let's see how they can make this make sense can be looking down at the field and the on the cloth is positioned so that it looks at the middle of the field and its peripheral is able to see the rest of the field at least. Pretty cool. It takes a lot of plastic to set this up and it is it does clutter things up a bit. Not gonna lie, not great in that respect. But the fact that it was in a starter pack and you didn't have to buy it separate. It was pretty cool. You do have to buy more cards separate. And I'll probably hang on to these uh, plastic bags and all that stuff so that I can, in fact, put this stuff away. The software. Just gonna go ahead and open that. I don't imagine there's anything all that impressive in here. Let's see. Okay, I forgot. Oh, okay, that's actually pretty cool that it has a, a full-color back insert. Thick manual. Oh, and it also shows you how to set up the stand. Had we actually done that, we would have seen it was very easy. It was pretty easy uh, once you know what you're doing. And, of course, now one sixty nine ninety nine PSP. If that gives you an idea of how old this is, uh, there you go. The now defunct PSN network on the PSP. You can st oh wow. PS1 emulator. I'm I'm surprised they called it an emulator and not just say you can just play your games on the go. But I guess we can go ahead and see if I can separate this without ruining it. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Go ahead and open the starter deck. Alright, nothing nothing else in there. Just feels like a deck of cards, honestly. There should be somewhere to open this. Oh, here it is. That's not going to get back in there. Pass... Pasmetic Holy Feast, Elven Berserker Maiden, Bewitching Elf Ar Archeress, Bequilling Fog, That Maiden Again, Verzar Foot Soldier, Biolith Battle Chariot, that's kind of cool, Giant Axe Dwarf, Healing Shower, Sahalian Fortress, Flame Magus, the Noan Assassin, Stone Wing Dwarf, White Cubic. I don't know what that is, but that thing looks creepy. Twin Goblins, Twin Goblins, Noan Assassin, Taurus Monolith, 
Oh my god, Triceptor Bloom is oh that deck actually is pretty cool. Must be I know this is like a fire type and this is a water type. It's a Tristonian Ice Guard. It's pretty cool. Ice Guard, Hellfire Spitter, Healing Shower, Hellfire Spitter, Lonely Fortress. Holy moly. Cyandas Fire God, that's kinda cool. The Bewitching Elf Archeress. Fissures of Goggy, Goggly, Quilling Fog, and Versar Foot Soldier. And just as a quick look, the these two indicators show where he can attack. And I don't quite know where this what this uh, the second one means, but I know the first one means that he can attack that way. He can only attack. You place him here. He can attack the one space ahead of him. That's important to know when you play the game. We have a status card. What this card does, checks a creature status. How to use. You offer this card, which I think is just putting it on top of it. Action card. Specifies target of action, attack, or spell. So you say, this will attack this. And that's how you kind of do the automated process. You can't just say, blue eyes attack his dark magician. You, you, the technology isn't there. It, it uses the cards, so it thinks blue eyes attack dark magician. Like, that's how it works. And then this is the turn end card. What does it do? It ends your turn. Wonderful. Cancel card. Cancels current event. Just stop that. Stop. That's pretty cool. That's the starter deck. Uh... I have a couple other starter decks that I've already done unboxings for, or openings of, and yeah, they, they come with the with the four cards as well, because they are super necessary for the game. And, you know, it, it'd be cool to for more than one uh, player to have it, although it's not entirely necessary, I guess. Here is the booster pack, the Eye of Judgment. This is one of the original ones. See if I can open this. If I remember how to open a booster pack. I think I do. Alright, here we go. Flame Ascetic. Summoner Mesmer's Errand. Twin Goblins. Giant Axe Dwarf. Bequilling Fog. Call of Timeless Juno. Uh, that's a pretty good movie. Wrathful Winds of Juno? Come on, Juno. Behemoth Groundbreaker. That's kind of cool. That is it. I. How do you tell what is a rare or not? Oh, this one's just draw two. That's kind of cool. I imagine that's strong. I don't know that, but I imagine it is. Yeah, we'll look into that another time. Anyway, guys, that is my unboxing of the Eye of Judgment bundle pack, which included the Eye of Judgment game software, the Nine Fields mat, the camera stand, the camera itself, which can't really see it, but it's there, the starter deck, and the booster pack, which we just put on top there. So, that's all for now, guys. Manjame out.